Dean, a 4-1 win today, an excellent result to end the, the regular season. Yeah, fantastic. In fact, victory to be fair. Um, to be fair to them, they come made it difficult for us at the first 20 minutes. We just figured out, we just slightly changed the system. We just figured out what we needed to do and we did that really well. The lads followed the game plan really well. Delighted for Freeman getting his first goal for us and, and obviously Idris needed a goal as well. So, And getting Eddie back was a, was a big bonus as well. So all in all, great team performance and good victory. Just touch on there, Luke Freeman, first goal for Barnett. An excellent goal and a really good performance from him today. Yeah, he's just getting fitter and fitter. You remember, Luke didn't do anything for five months and uh, we were lucky enough to manage to sign him and uh, I know him personally um, and the more we can get out of him the better, the fitter we can get him the better. He's, he's a big game player as well to be fair to him, he's been there, done it, got the t-shirt so we give him nice calmness around the camp for next week as well so we're delighted for him. You also managed to bring Ade on in the second half, excellent to get him back ahead of the playoffs and getting those uh, few minutes in this week. Yeah, listen, we've been depleted defensively, we've had a lot of injuries in and out all season, so for us to come second and do what we've done is an amazing achievement with the amount of injuries we've had, the volume of defensive injuries we've had, so just delighted to get Ade back, you can see his power, his strength, and it looked like he hadn't been away for the, for the last few months, I thought he was an outstanding performance when he came on, so I'm delighted he's back. Obviously, today was the last day of the regular season, finishing second, a, a magnificent performance from everyone this year. Yeah, we scored 90 odd goals. I would have liked us to let in less. Um, to get 86 points is, is, is an amazing achievement. Our target was 90 points at the start of the season. That was the target we set ourselves. So we come a little bit shy of that. But when we did get in the position and we lost to Chesterfield here 13 games ago, or 12 games ago, whatever it was, it was important that we picked up points. And I think we've done that really well. Um, and we obviously cemented second place and gives us a home tie now in the playoffs. And you just mentioned that they secured that second place, a Saturday playoff semi final here at the Hive against either Solly Hall or Gateshead. How important is it to get the fans here and make this place buzzing on Saturday, make that home advantage count? Yeah, like, like they've been most of the season, we've got to get the place rocking, we've got to make an intimidating place. Uh, we drew at Solly Hall here, we scored late uh, earlier in the season, um, and I thought it was an emphatic performance from us that day. I don't even think Solly had the corner that day. Um, we were really, uh, really good, but we were wasteful of our chances. We won't, we won't want to see that again. And obviously Gateshead as well come here. And Gateshead, to be fair, that's the best anyone's played against us here. Gateshead give us a bit of a doing. So whatever, whoever we get, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a tasty toy. But we got to make sure we're on the front foot. We get after the opposition. And uh, I know what the capabilities of our group, but we've got to be able to step up. I just said to them in there, like they should be proud of themselves what they've achieved so far. But the major achievement now, and it's the last bit, it's the final four long. This is the hardest bit of any race. We've got to make sure we're, we're getting to that line before anybody else. So we're looking forward to the game. Um, no doubt there'll be a little bit of tension, but at times we're going to need our supporters within the game. You know, we could be one nil down, it could be nil nil, it could be late, it could be saves. So we're going to need our supporters to drive us forward. And uh, please God, they'll do that for us. I know they will. And obviously now a full week for that semi-final. How will this week look? Obviously we won't know uh, officially who our opposition is until Tuesday. How does that help your preparations and how will this next week look? Yeah, look, recovery Monday, lads will have tomorrow off. Tuesday we'll train hard, like we always do. The lads have Wednesday off and then Thursday, Friday we'll prep for the game. We won't change much. Um, what we might probably do is I just want to speak to the group we might have a pre-match before the game it's something we don't really do with home games but we might have a look at that that could be the only change really because um, it is such a special game and then injuries wise obviously we've got Addy back is there anyone else that we're looking to get back ahead of uh, next weekend now uh, Tomo should be back and Pritchard should be back we expect them to train Monday um, if not definitely Tuesday with Tomo we expect Pritchard to train Monday um, so Jade's done a great job with him. The medical department have been outstanding to get him back. And obviously Addy's back. The only one that's definitely out is definitely is Winter. So he'll miss the rest of the season. But um, all in all, we're getting the key players back for us at the right time. Dean, congratulations and thank you for your time. Cheers, guys.